Hi everyone, this is Divya here and welcome to String Diary. I hope you're having an excellent day. So today we're going to learn how to make the fantail shell stitch. It's a very simple stitch and it involves the combination of uh, your regular uh, shell stitch with a V stitch. So let's see what materials we're going to need for this stitch. So for this stitch, you can use any uh, yarn with the recommended hook size. And for the sample, I'm using a four medium worsted weight yarn with a 5.5 mm hook. You'll also need scissors and yarn needle to weave in the ends. So before we begin, let me show you a swatch that I've already made with the fantail shell stitch. If you can see, uh, it's got the regular shell uh, stitch that we create by doing multiple double crochets in a stitch. Along with that, we have the V stitch that we've created here every alternate row. So this provides for a really beautiful uh, inverted drop lace kind of a pattern. So along with the solid texture of the shell, you also have this lace uh, texture that is created with the V stitch. So let's see what are the requirements for this uh, stitch. First of all, you need to know uh, a sing how to work a single crochet, how to work a double crochet and how to work chains. That's it. You just need these three stitches and we'll be using a combination of all of these to create the fantail shell stitch. Now, if you're working in flat rows like this, like I have made this swatch, uh, this stitch is worked in multiples of eight stitches plus one at the end. Uh, if you're working this stitch in the round, for example, for a hat or for a bag or something, then you need to work in multiples of only eight stitches without that additional extra stitch, right? So now that we've cleared that, let's begin. So I'm going to begin the stitch by creating first a slip knot uh, to create our base chains. And we'll be creating multiples of eight plus one stitch. So for the sample, I'm going to make 24 stitches. That's multiple of eight plus extra, an extra stitch that is 25 stitches. So I'm just going to make 25 chains here and I'll meet you at the end. Now that I have finished the 25 stitches, I'm going to uh, make one additional stitch to start working back into these chains. So one extra stitch. So right now I have 26 stitches. So if you're working on flat rows, it'll be multiples of eight plus one and plus an additional chain for the height. So now that I have 26 stitches uh, chains on my hook, I'm going to turn the work, turn the chain and work in only in the back bumps of these chains, right? So now in the second chain from the hook, we're going to skip the first one. And in the second chain, I'm going to make a single crochet. So one single crochet in the back bump of the second chain from the hook right now i'm going to yarn over and i'm going to count three chains so if you can see that's one two and three three chains i'm going to skip these three stitches and in the fourth stitch i'm going to make nine double crochets so if you know how to make a double crochet you yarn over you insert the hook into the stitch, pull up one loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's your double crochet. So as you see, I'm going to, I skip the three stitches here and in the fourth stitch, I'm going to make nine double crochets. Now, because we're skipping these stitches here, it is important that the double crochets that we make are longer. So the trick to doing that is yarn over, hold the yarn over with your hand, with your finger, insert the hook into your stitch and 
pull up the loop longer to come in level of your first loop. We don't want the loop to be smaller like this. We want the loop to be longer. So make your loop longer and complete your double crochet. So we're going to do nine double crochets. I have already done two. I will do the remaining seven double crochets in the same stitch. So let's complete So there you go. I have done nine double crochets in the same stitch. Now you'll see that the stitch kind of becomes a little loose. You can always pull the chain and make it in level with your remaining chains. Now after this I'm going to skip the next three stitches. So if you see that's one, two and three. So I'm going to skip these three stitches and in the fourth stitch I'm going to make a single crochet to close this shell, right? So right now that's what we've done. In the second chain from the hook we did one single crochet. We skipped three stitches and in the fourth stitch we did nine double crochets which forms this shell. We skipped the next three stitches and in the fourth stitch we did a single crochet, right? So if you see one set of the single crochet and the shell stitch will account for eight stitches together right so i'm going to keep continuing doing this into the next few uh, chains right so we already have the single crochet here i'm going to skip the next three nine double crochets into the fourth chain So that's one, two, three, four, nine. So nine stitches there and I'm going to skip the next three stitches. So one, two, three and in the fourth stitch I'm going to insert and make a single crochet right so we keep continuing this single crochet skip three nine DC in the fourth stitch skip three stitches again and single crochet in the next right so I'm going to continue doing this till the end and I'm going to meet you at the end of this row so now that I've completed that last cluster I'm going to end the row by skipping the next three stitches and making one single crochet in that last stitch. So that's our row two. Now you can see how it gets worked up. Your clusters of nine double crochets. You skip three and work in the fourth, skip three and single crochet in the next, right? So let's get on to row three. So I'm going to turn the work and I'm going to make three chains. So this chain three is counted as one double crochet. So you chain three, you turn your work, right? And make another double crochet in the same stitch. So you're going to have technically two double crochets in that stitch. But we're using chain three as one double crochet. Right, we move on and we make two chains and then we skip the next four stitches. So that's skip the four stitches of the cluster. So that's one, two, three and four. And I'll single crochet in the fifth stitch of the cluster. The cluster is the nine uh, double crochet shell stitch that you have made. So we start off the row three by chain three, making another double crochet in the same stitch, make two chains, skip the four 
uh, stitches of the cluster and single crochet into the fifth stitch. Now we're gonna have a repeat. So between we're going to work in between these two clusters. So this is going to be a repeat. We chain two, we skip the four stitches of the cluster and in this single crochet from the previous row, we're going to make a V stitch. Now the V stitch is simply one double crochet, chain one and another double crochet in the same stitch. So in one stitch, you're going to have one double crochet, chain one and another double crochet emerging from the same stitch. So that's a V stitch. So we chain two, we make a V stitch in the single crochet from the previous row. We chain two again, skip the next four stitches of the cluster and single crochet into the fifth stitch that is in the, on the top of the cluster. So if you see, this is how we're working it. We're doing a single crochet at the top of the cluster, chain two, skip the remaining stitches of the cluster, make a V stitch into the single crochet from the previous row. That's a double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the same stitch. We will chain two again, skip the next four stitches of the cluster and single crochet into the fifth stitch at the top of that cluster, right? So we're back to that point. And this is the repeat that we're going to keep continuing for the entire row till we reach the end. So let me just complete doing that and I'll see you at the end of the row. Now that I've reached the last cluster, I finished the repeat with the single crochet. So I'm going to chain two and skip the remaining four stitches of the cluster. And in the last single crochet, I will make two double crochets in the same stitch. So that's one double crochet and the second double crochet. Right, so that's the end of our row three. So now for row four, I'm going to chain three and turn our work. And this chain three counts as one double crochet. And now I'm going to make four double crochets in between these two double crochets that we had from the previous row. So in between the two stitches, I'm going to insert the hook in between those two stitches and make four double crochets in the same gap. So four double crochets. So now here, a total we have of five stitches that is this chain three is counted as one double crochet and we have four other double crochets. Once we've done that we're going to skip the next two chains and in the single crochet from the previous row we will insert and make another single crochet. So we skipped those two stitches and we made a single crochet in the single crochet from the previous row. Now we are at that V stitch section. So I'm going to skip the next three stitches. That is these two chains and one double crochet. And in this chain space that of the V stitch, that is this chain of the V stitch, in that gap, I'm going to make nine double crochet. So we're making another cluster. So in the gap of the V stitch, we'll make nine double crochets.
so we've got nine stitches here now I'm going to skip the next three stitches that is the double crochet of the V stitch and the two chains and single crochet into the single crochet from the previous row right so we've made another cluster here we're going to con continue doing the same thing now if you see we've just got half of the portion left here so I'm going to skip the next three stitches and in this gap between the chain three and the double crochet I will make five double crochet that's exactly half of the cluster that we did before so your full clusters are nine double crochets and your half clusters like we did here are five double crochets so four and five double crochets right so now if you see that's how we have it so now for row five I'm going to turn and chain one and single crochet into the first stitch and we then we're going to repeat the section which we did between two clusters right so that is chain two skip the four stitches of the cluster V stitch in the single crochet from the previous row chain 2 skip the next four stitches and single crochet in the fifth stitch of the cluster let's do that again so chain 2 skip the next four stitches V stitch in the single crochet from the previous row chain 2 skip the next four stitches and single crochet in the fifth stitch of the cluster so we're going to repeat that one more time till we reach the end for that last uh, between space between the clusters so chain 2 skip 4 V stitch in the single crochet chain 2 skip 4 and SC in the chain third chain of that last chain three that we done from the previous row right so now for the sixth row I am going to chain one and turn the work now this is the sixth row is very similar to the row two that we did but instead of doing it in the chains uh, as we did for the base row we're going to do it inside the chain space of the V stitch right so it's the same as the row 2 but we're doing it inside the V stitch so we follow the same instructions that is chain 1 and turn single crochet in the first stitch skip the next three stitches and in the chain space of the V stitch nine double crochets to form the shell so we'll do the nine double crochets let me just count so we've got three three six eight and we've got one more so that's nine double crochets in the V stitch and single crochet into the skip the next three stitches and single crochet into that single crochet from the previous row and we repeat the same thing into each of these uh, chain uh, space of the V stitch 
and at the end we'll single crochet into that last stitch so let me just complete that and I'll get to the end so now that I have completed row 6 we're going to repeat this entire section that is from row 3 onwards so row 3 4 5 and 6 we keep repeating these four rows till the required length we need and we end it either on a row 3 or on a row 5 so let me just continue working on this to complete the swatch and I'll we'll, I'll meet you once I've finished the required length so I have done a couple of more repeats and I have ended uh, the swatch with a repeat of row 3 so now you can see this is a beautiful square you can see the uh, the lace effect that these uh, inverted drops create because of the V stitch and the shell stitch sits so beautifully uh, it also almost looks like a diamond shape right there into one stitch so um, this is how it looks worked up uh, in this uh, yarn I have also made a few swatches to show you uh, how it works in different kinds of yarns so let's just have a look at them uh, this is um, a similar kind of yarn which is a smaller swatch in just plain white um, I have uh, you can change colors every two every alternate rows or every uh, three rows and I have uh, made this in by changing colors in every three rows so you can see I've done two uh, sections of the shell in each color and you can create a very beautiful blanket in this kind of a design. Uh, you can also work this up in um, a variegated yarn. If you see, you, you don't see the sh stitch texture uh, very clearly in a variegated yarn, but it still kind of gives you a very beautiful lacy effect. So you know uh, once you hold it up you can see that uh, it looks pretty it looks very very pretty and uh, looks good on a variegated yarn as well so uh, there you go that's your uh, tutorial for the fan tail shell stitch i hope you like it if you want to see this stitch worked up in a pattern you can check out my amber beanie i'll put the this uh, link for the uh, pattern below if you see that's the pattern for the amber beanie i have used the fantail shell stitch uh, in the body portion of this hat and uh, ended with a textured post stitch detail so uh, if you like this video and you want to see more tutorials like this in the future uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this video with everyone. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and see you next time.